Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. There was a request. Somebody wants to know how I put my wig on and how I fix my wigs and what I like what's going on under my wigs. And here we are with some finished makeup and a beautiful hairstyle that can go on and off in just a second. All right, so basically this is what's going on underneath my wig for like most of the time and this is the wig this is nothing special at all this is a mm, i would say 15 euro fake hair wig that i bought on ebay you need to be careful you just need to um read reviews you need to see how the pictures are looking like and you need to just choose really really careful and find a site on the internet that looks good if you're living in a country like Austria where you don't really have a big wig shop or something like that. So I know in like cities like London or Paris you have wig shops, especially, oh my god, New York. It's like insanity. You just go into any shop that sells wigs and you have like colors and styles and everything. But mm -mm, this is not happening in Vienna, Austria. We have like some shops that are crazy expensive for like medical wigs. And we have like some oriental shops that sell wigs, but they are mm, like, they don't have that much in Austria. We don't like know. So I bought nearly all of my wigs uh, over the internet and I just ordered them. And especially for something like this, which is like a black bulb that has a little bit of brown in it. It's really, you know, this doesn't have to be like real hair or anything. And I really love a fake hair bob because it's the easiest thing. You don't have time to style your wig. Okay, you take this, shake and go. You put it on and you're good. And it always looks kind of stylish and nice. So before I put on any wig, I adjust the back straps. They are elastic and they have like little hooks on them. You know, depending on how tight the wig is, you just place the hook where it feels good, you just try it out a little bit. If you're convinced with the size that you're wearing, you can also use a thread and needle and just fix it there and then you don't have to uh, fix it here anymore with your hands. Then, if the wig is, you know, kind of in an order, I don't need to brush through it before I put it on my head when it's, when it's all right. And then I just place it like that. I go into the wig with both of my hands to like feel it inside and have the possibility to stretch it out a bit and then I'm placing it first on my forehead a little bit in front of my own hairline and pulling it through all over the head and I'm taking it to the front here and then I just need to place it correctly so that it looks rather natural and then, especially for the bob wigs, I like to brush them over my ears and then just let it fall to the front again and place it a little bit behind my ears. Because I have the feeling that if you see a little bit of the ear, you shouldn't see this, no. If you see a little bit of the ear, then the whole thing just looks natural and real. You see, here I place it in front of my ear and here you can see some ear. This just looks like a street walker and this looks like a natural woman. Okay, so this is on pretty well and I can shake my hand <laughs> and it doesn't go off that easily. But if you wanna like um, feel more secure, you can use these little guys, bobby pins. I'm not talking about the guy called Bobby Pins, but I'm talking about the Bobby Pins themselves. I'm going in with the help of my claws and I'm finding the net of the wig that is like in here. I don't want to push the Bobby Pin in here, like in the front, because you would see it. So I'm going one centimeter behind and I'm placing this Bobby Pin in here. 
And this just gives you more security and more hold, which is good when you're performing on stage, when you're doing like a dance and stuff, and you don't want your wig to just go everywhere and not stay on your head. And also if you want to go for like total security standards and you're wearing a kind of headpiece, then you could always like just push a bobby pin uh, down here on top of the wig. But you would need to place something on top of that because otherwise it just looks ridiculous. Okay, so far so good for this easy wig. If you want to take a wig off that is secured with pins, you can take those out that you can just reach and feel and the other ones you take out by just pulling the wig to the front so you just take it off like that and pull it to the front and this is getting rid of all the bobby pants in like one stroke and there she is goodbye honey all right so the second wig i'm going to show you is a fake hair lace front or front lace wig this was also not super pricey. It's by the company Webster Wigs and it has this beautiful ombre color gradient thing going on. And another important accessory for people that wear wigs are these babies. So you need a couple of styrofoam heads in your life if you're using wigs because you want to store them on a head and you want, if you like get them styled from a wig artist, like I usually do. Then you want to keep the styled wigs on a styrofoam head just to keep them in place and have them in an order. And if you put them on a styrofoam head, you can just use pins like these to fix the wigs on the styrofoam head. Make sure that if you use pins to fix your wigs, don't forget the pins in your wigs because you can like, mm-hmm. No, 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 no. So for using a wig that has a lace front, front lace, whatever, um, and that is long and maybe a little heavier than the short bob, I use these things. I make them myself just out of fishnet stockings. And I don't use the ones that you can buy because they're usually not made out of fishnet material. And the fishnet material is really, really good for that because you can put pins into the fishnet and it just stays on your head pretty damn well. So I put this on just like that and then I put it right to the point where I want my wig to sit. My natural hairline is high. So I like to place my wigs like one centimeter in front of my natural hairline. And this is possibly the moment when you want to go over your forehead again with some contouring powder just to make sure that everything looks shaped and shaded. If you want some extra security for your wig, you can glue your headband onto your forehead with some little, little tiny amounts of silicone glue or some mastics like um, spirit gum in English. And then it's the same deal, you just place the hooks inside the wig to make sure it's tight enough for your head. And you place the front to your forehead, hold it there, go over your head, make sure you're all the way down on the back of your head. Then place the lace on the sides of your face. All right, and to finish the application of the wig, I'm brushing through the hair in the front to remove it from the lace. And then I'm fixing the front hair on the sides with some pins. And so now I'm able to glue down the lace. I'm using silicone adhesive and the little brush that comes with it. And I'm applying a tiny amount of glue just down here. This is actually enough. If you're not having like a hardcore performance going on, you, mm -hmm, oops. If you don't have like a hardcore performance going on where you have to like flip your wig back and forth, a little bit on the side is enough. You just pull the lace to the front and press it on for about 30 seconds.
And when the glue, oops, and when the glue has dried completely, you can remove the clips from the side of the hair. And there you have it, your glued on lace front wig that you can flip back as fast as you want and just be fierce and fabulous with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and to further fix the wig, I'm using these pins. They should be pointy in the front and not have the little ball ends. And I'm putting them in like that and going into the lace. I can't see like that. Okay, I'm putting them into the lace to the front. Then I'm turning them around and I'm pushing them back into the hair. And like this, if you do this on more points, your wig will stay on for good. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video about how I put my wigs on and how I fix my wigs on my head. If you did, then press subscribe and thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and comment in the comment section below if you would actually be interested in some wig styling tips as well because, you know, hair is the crown on a queen's head or something like that. See you in my next video. Bye, girls. Mm -hmm.